Good evening. I want to welcome all of you to the regular meeting of the Stillwater Planning Commission, Tuesday, March 27th. Um, we'll begin all the meeting to order, and we'll begin with land use items for discussion and possible action. Stillwater Retirement LLC Amendment to Preliminary Planned Unit Development, uh, PUD 18-01, request and review and approval and amendment to preliminary planned unit development to allow two additional duplex units at property addressed as 823 South Range. Staff. Good evening, Lance Gross with Development Services. The first case before you tonight is an amendment to an existing PUD for, Prim for Primrose Retirement Community located at 823 South Range Road. The purple boundary indicates the subject site. The base zoning for the PUD is RSS and Let's see, to the north is RT, residential two-family. RSS is located to the south and also to the east. And to the west is uh, Payne County. This is a site plan showing the existing condition. Uh, basically what they're wanting to do is to add two duplexes on the southwest corner. These duplexes exist and the retirement center currently exists as well. This is uh, an aerial view of the site again. And it shows the location where the two duplexes will be placed. This is a street view looking straight to the east and it shows the, the vacant lots right in front of you uh, where the duplexes will will be constructed and the existing retirement community over here and the existing duplexes. The findings for this, it, the proposal is compatible with the C3 plan. Landscaping and buffer, buffering uh, currently exists. Are there any questions? Questions, thank you very much. I will now open the public hearing Anyone wishing to speak in favor of the item, please step forward, state your name and address for the record. Good evening, Kelly Harris with Keystone Engineering, located at 923 South Lowry, here representing the owners tonight. Um, we do have a representative from Primrose here tonight as well, if you have questions for her. Um, Lance did a great job giving you a summary. Uh, we we're just adding two duplex units to the existing site. Um, Drainage, stormwater detention is taken care of. We're still meeting the landscape buffer um, that was requested when it came through the first time. So are there any questions? Thank you very Thank much. You. Anyone else wishing to speak in favor of the item, please step forward. Seeing none, anyone wishing to speak in opposition to the item, please step forward. I will close the public hearing then and ask for staff alternatives. Lance. Your alternatives are accept the findings, recommend approval, find the request is not appropriate, recommend denial, or table the item to a certain date. Any other questions for the staff? Discussion. I move we accept findings to recommend the City Council approve the proposed map amendment as presented. Second. It has been moved and seconded that we accept staff uh, the recommendation for approval. We'll now vote. The motion passes four to zero. Next item for use is uh, Richard Boltzler preliminary plat. S uh, SUB 18-04, requesting review and approval of a preliminary plat on 7.3 acres at properties addressed as 3098 East 4th Avenue, 3106 East 4th Avenue, and 498 South Mockingbird Street. Create a new residential subdivision consisting of 20 lots in the RT residential two-family and RTM residential two-family multifamily zoning district. This was previously postponed from our earlier meeting. Yes. Yes. The preliminary plat before you is located at 3098 
3106 East 4th Avenue and 498 South Mockingbird. The purple boundary uh, designates the, the subject site. The north portion of the site is zoned RT, a residential two-family. The southern portion is RTM, residential two-family and multifamily. And RTM exists to the west. RSS, residential small lot single family, is to the north and also to the east. And CS, uh, commercial shopping, is to the south. This is a block map showing the location of some of the existing uses. You can see over here there are two multifamily structures uh, that currently exist. Here on, num on block number or lot number seven is a, an existing duplex. There's also a duplex located right here, but it's not part of this, uh, uh, this plat. And Fourth Street is currently a uh, public street terminates right here. Fourth Street will continue along here in the outlot B and go south on both of those locations and those will both be uh, private streets and a gate will be constructed right here. This is a view, the top left photo shows the existing uh, multifamily structures. This is a view looking to the, uh, to the southwest from 4th Avenue. The other photo on the right hand side is a picture of the existing duplex on the north side of 4th, 4th Avenue. This view shows the, where 4th Avenue terminates. Anything beyond this point will be a private street. The findings, the density is lower than the high density res residential, which the C3 plan uh, designates. And high density residential is basically anywhere from, I'm sorry, 12 to 150 uh, resident residential units per acre. The current zoning is correct for the proposed development, and this complies with code regulations. Any questions? Just to notice when I drove back that there's a lot of dirt been moved around in that area. Is that part of the, I mean, you can even see the red dirt piles yeah. and everything. Is that part of this development already that that work's being done or is that something else? I believe it's uh, for a lot of the utilities that are going on uh, currently. Mm. I have a qu question on the streets and gates. Can you go back to the site plan? Sure. Uh, uh, the one. Oh, well, that's, no, the, yeah, that's fine. Okay. There's going to be a gate at the, I guess, east end. Yes, right here. Is there any expectation that the other, th I, that there's two streets, but is that also a, there's three streets, right, at 4th Avenue? Will that, will those all be gated off or connect to anything? They, they will, and this is my, my understanding, they'll be stub streets, basically. Uh, they both terminate right here at the lot and also the lot over here. So the, so the 4th Street one does not connect to anything off-site. Is, is, I'm trying to remember, is there, is there a roadway there off-site? The, yeah. Is it just an easement? I, that's a good question. Um, the, I believe the engineer can probably answer that question a lot better. Okay. Yeah. Is, are they going to be just inaccessible or there won't be, will there be gates or physical barriers or? That for the end of the, the stub streets? Mm -hmm. Well, for instance, this lot right here, number three, there will more than likely be a drive connecting to mm -hmm. this. Okay. Uh, likewise with- Oh, the those are key lots, okay. Lot number four as well. Oh, that's fine, thank you, that, that helps. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. I will now open the public hearing. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of the item, please step forward, give your name and address for the record. Good evening, Stephen Ghost with Ghost and Associates, 113 East 8th. Um, to answer your question, on 4th, 
I messed it all up, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Whatever. <laughs> so, um, fourth will extend. The, the pavement ends today right over here in this development. So we will extend pavement all the way through there. It'll be 20 foot wide from the end from right about here to the west to meet fire code requirements. The plan is to put a gate at the back property line so that to keep pedestrian traffic from going back and forth and vehicles. There'll be a gate, like Lance said, here between lots six and seven. That's where that gate will be. And so everything back here will be private streets, privately maintained. There'll be a property owner association set up to maintain all of that. And then there will be a gate here that'll have a Knox box and okay. we'll, we'll make the fire department happy um, to keep that traffic, any traffic from going back and forth. The gate will be accessible to the residents or will it be strictly the It'll fire It'll strictly be gate? fire, emergency okay. access. Okay. Um, the roads at the south end will terminate into driveways, driveways to the respective duplexes. We tried to work a deal with the developers building the senior housing out there right now to punch this road through here and connect to their fire lane instead of going this way but they were a lot further ahead in their plans than we were to, to make that work um, to answer your other question the piles of dirt you saw in the pictures Lance showed lot 7 has a duplex lot 7 is built on lot 6 we've minor subdivided and as part of that we extended roadway plans, so there's a short piece of road that's currently being constructed to basically get to the lot 5-6 boundary, but because all of these are still owned by Mr. Butzler, we're going to do the preliminary plat of all of it just to try to clean it up. The original application had this lot, this 3112, in it, but that's since sold, and they're an out-of-state owner, so instead of trying to get them Sig their signatures and everything we've just excluded it as part of this but the attempt of the preliminary plat is to stop the minor subdivisions two at a time let's get a big plan together and get it all done at one time so will the um, HOA consist of just these units or will it be associated with the overall it will be basically lots Lot seven will not be part of it. Everything else within the red and and the apartments will not be part of the HOA. Just the duplex lots hmm, okay. behind behind the gate. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Anyone else wishing to speak in favor of the item? Seeing none, anyone wishing to speak in opposition? There being none, I will close the public hearing and ask for staff alternatives. Let's see, your alternatives are accept findings and approve the proposed preliminary plat as presented. Find that the preliminary plat is not an appropriate use for the property based upon the impacts of the surrounding vic vicinity and do not approve the preliminary plat or find that additional information or discussion is needed prior to making a recommendation and table the request to a certain date. Any final questions for staff? Not seeing any discussion or a motion. Move to accept findings and approve the proposed preliminary plat as presented. Second. It has been moved and seconded that we accept staff findings and approve the Motion passes four to zero. Uh, next item for business is approval of the meeting summary for discussion of possible action of the regular meeting, March 6, 2018. Move for approval. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we approve the minutes. All in favor will vote, or we will all vote. The motion passes four to zero. Uh, the next item would be next planning commission meeting will be not April. Do I need to say? I will move that the next planning commission meeting will be April 3rd, 2018. We have a motion. motion to adjourn. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we adjourn.
final vote. Motion passes four to zero. Thank you all very much. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that.